guys, I just finished that one and I'm on to this next job. This guy called me yesterday. He says he had this guy put this air conditioning system in his house, Joe's Appliance in AC, whatever the hell that means. That guy works on appliances and installs air conditioning systems. And he says the thing's icing up and the guy don't know how to fix it. So, this is what he told me. He says the guy called the supply house and he says he needs some kind of valve in the system. He's probably talking a thermal expansion valve. I don't know, but I'm going over there to meet this guy and, and see what's going on and see if I can help him out. You know, you got to be careful. These homeowners call Joe Schmo, and then, uh, you know, they make a flipping mess out of it. I bet you the returns are all too small. I'm curious to see what this is all about. I'm sure, I don't know if I'll be able to film it, because he'll probably be sniffing right up my ass, this guy. But I'm going to try and see what's happening with it. Maybe it's got no piston in there. I don't know. Probably overcharged, flooding back. We'll find out. See if I get it going for this guy. Who knows? Maybe there's any other fan hooked up. Should be an interesting call. So. It's kind of chilly today. Probably only about, I don't know, 65 maybe. But we'll see what happens. Look at that, and I gotta change the water heater later. So. I do a lot of water heaters. I like water heaters. I make a quick buck on that. But, well, I'll see if I can get some footage on this. Alright, I'm at this house. Um, air handle these guys complaining about it icing up. It's a Goodman unit here. He says the guy put a 22 unit in outside. And we're gonna we're gonna run it and see why it's icing up. We've got two returns coming down here. One zone damper for the first floor. One zone damper for the second floor. There's a second floor return coming down. And here's the first floor return. So it's a five ton unit, he said. Let's see what this is calling for. Looks like a five ton coil. It's a big house. Refrigerant 22. Looks like that's a five ton. We'll check it out. I'm gonna put my gauges on the outside and see. Yeah, he's talking about it was uh, it was a flow and white or whatever. Alright, this unit's 22 and I got my testo on there. I wanna see what's happening with it. Wow, fucking dropping. Blowing refrigerant. Super Heat 60, wow. Yeah, he's low on refrigerant, that's what it is. This should be up like 60, it's only 30. So if you run this for any amount of time, it's going to ice right up on you. Let's see, 150, 153 is the head pressure. It's 65 out. So 65 plus 30 is 95. It should be like 185 on the head pressure or 150. So let me try putting a little refrigerant in it and see what happens. The sub cool's high though, that seems weird. Let me try putting a little refrigerant in it. Yeah. Hit that switch. Yeah, I'm adding refrigerant to it now. Oh, it looks 
slow. Let's see, we'll try putting a little in there and see how it works. Sub cool seems a little high, but it's a piston, so run it for a bit. Let's see. I'm gonna check my uh, wood bulb inside on the return. Outside temperature 65. So 62, 65, 21 degrees superheat is what I want. It should be 21 degrees. I'm filling it now. Let's see what our suction pressure is. Coming down, it's really low on gas. That pressure's high though. Might have air in it. Filling it. Might have to change that uh, that thermal ex that uh, piston over there. We'll have to see. Sub cool's really high here. That's not good. Let's see where we're at now. Still high in the superheat. We gotta come put more in it. Are we getting cooler up here? You getting any heat coming out? Not really. Got super high um, sub cool. This is the piston that's in there. I'm gonna put this size in there and try it. Sub cool is like 36. I'm gonna try changing the piston. Looks like he's got a three ton unit out there and a four, four or five ton unit inside here. Oh, he's slacker. Try this piston. See how it works. I'm gonna try it. it looks like this is a if thirty. This is a three ton, I don't even want this here. Yeah, it looks like this is a three ton unit here. A five ton coil inside. Change the piston. I'm pulling a vacuum on it now. And I'm gonna see if we get the sub cool is like thirty six. Crazy. So I'm gonna see what happens with it. Yeah, three ton condensing unit with a five ton coil. And that fucking sucks, huh? So we'll see. We'll see. Let's try it with that smaller piston and see how it works. See what happens. The superheat was alright. Just the sub cool was like 36 instead of 12. That's no good. Try it. thousand microns. Yeah, 
reclaiming all the refrigerant and stuff from scratch. Superheating subcool is a lot better than ours. Subcool is 38 for four. Well, that's a lot better. Seventeen, eighteen superheat and thirteen four, fourteen degrees subcool. I put the other piston back. I've come to find out this this is five ton unit out here and a five ton inside also, so. I just had air in the condensing unit. Uh, the guy didn't pull a proper vacuum on it, pretty much. Alright, so you want to go check what's the temperature inside uh, coming out of the vents? Alright guys, just left that job. Um, that was weird. I went there, um, didn't have no no uh, soup, no super heat, but the bloody subcool was out of the, like, bloody 38. So I tried to put a little gas in it. Uh, I got the super heat where I wanted it, but the subcool was still high. The line, the uh, liquid line was probably like, I don't know, 60 degrees going to the uh, evaporator. Was like, so what I had to do is I had to reclaim all the refrigerant out of that unit completely, pull a vacuum on it, and then recharge it, and it's fine now. So whoever did that job originally um, never pulled the vacuum right. So that was the deal over there. This guy, I'm following him now to the bank. He's going to give me cash, so cash is king. So that's the deal there with that one. What a bloody mess. Brand new system. Never worked right from the get-go. Thing was icing up, like I was saying. So, guy put it in last year and never was right. So it's the beginning of the year. He wanted to get it straightened out. So that's the deal. He didn't like my price when I told him what the 22 was going for, but oh well, shit happens. Alright guys, thanks for watching.